Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. We're on like a nine, a nine game losing streak. So I'd like to change that. Let's do an Azazel run to the chest. That That's what I'm thinking. We need to turn this around because <laughs> it's starting to get a little embarrassing. So we're gonna do a nice little Azazel run here. Just keep it chill, hopefully. Uh, we got a library on the first floor, which is great. We just need a key so we can actually get in there. Get rid of these little yellow flies. There we go. All right, check the item room. Item room gives us... <laughs> oh, it's going to be like that as a game. Okay. I mean, arguably, Dunce Cap as a Zazel could be okay. Because you're shooting two brimstone beams. But at the same time, I'm going to say no to Dunce Cap. Because, like, it's just not a good plan. Okay, we got our key, though. Let's see what's in the library. If there's a good book in the library, then we don't really care that the item room is bad. Necronomicon's pretty whatever. Book of Belial's okay. We'll give us a damage upgrade when we need it. And we'll also... Um, Increase our chances of getting a deal in future floors. So, all in all, I can live with that. We'll shoot the poops, and we'll check the last room, just in case. Uh, this is why it's good to check rooms. Couple of extra spirit hearts. Yes, please. Okay, and we got Baby Plum. We have a good space bar item, so I don't feel the need to uh, get the Plum Flute. Okay, yep, that's my own fault. We should use Book of Belial here, though. I should have used it a while ago, and I just kind of forgot that I had it. But either way, we will quickly destroy Baby Plum. Goodbye. Okay, and we get Crack Jacks, which is actually fine. Gives us uh, a okay trinket. And an HP. So we now have a red heart, which is good. And with uh, the eternal heart that we're going to get at the start of every floor from Maggie's Faith, as long as we keep our spirit hearts high, we should basically get an, uh, an HP upgrade on every floor. At least hopefully. Uh, I will check the cursed room since we can get in there for free. That was bad. Okay, also not very helpful. I'm not going to use the Fool card. I want to save the Fool card for later. For something like maybe stealing an item from Boss Rush or from a Boss Trap Room or something along those lines. Also, we've done... Yeah, we've done Boss Rush on Azazel. We have not done Hush, but we've done Boss Rush. Sun card is great. I will you I will take that over the fool card. Which means I probably should have used the fool card to get out of the uh, I mean to be fair though, I had no idea I was going to get a sun card, so it's kind of one of those things where you're like, "Well, what are you supposed to do, you know?" Nickels are good. Self-sacrifice room has nothing in it I'm willing to pay for. Was kind of hoping to just find, like, a an eternal heart in there. Um, Vibrant Bulb. Honestly, that's probably a better trinket. Gives us an all-stats upgrade when our spacebar item is fully charged. Which is going to be mo- Oh, and it's a big range upgrade. Ooh, maybe we... That might be better, honestly, than just the damage from Book of Belial. Certainly better on everything except for maybe bosses. Because just about everything else dies pretty much immediately anyway. At this stage in the game. So Vibrant Bulb is doing good things for us. I think we're planning to go... Hmm. We'll see. 
I, I still haven't decided yet. I'm gonna put a bomb right here and let the bomb destroy all those guys and get the tinted rock at the same time. And now we fight the boss. And we'll use Book of Belial here. It is a lot more damage. Although it makes us worse in every other regard. But it is a significant amount of extra damage. There we go. Speedball's good. Uh, we'll take the pill. It's a speed upgrade. That's great. Do we check? I think we at least check the deal and see what's in here. Eye of the Occult. Yo, didn't we have Eye of the Occult with Azazel and it was, like, amazing? Or no. This is Ocular Rift, though, not Eye of the Occult. Although, Dark Bum could be really good. Um, this is tough. I think we're going to take this and leave Dark Bum behind. It is tough, but I think that's the right play. I'm just going to use a sun card here to reveal the map. Let's pop into here. What do we got? A couple of golden chests. I think this is worth at least attempting. Don't get hit by that. I got a lucky penny out of it, so... Eh! Worth it? I don't know, maybe. Tough to say. Consumables are good. I was kind of hoping to get like a spirit card out of that, but experimental pill speed up tears down. There's a health upgrade. That's actually wonderful. And then we got a retrovision and an explosive diarrhea. Okay. Well, those don't help much, but everything else there was good. I mean, mm, yeah, we probably did want the HP. Okay, check this first. Nothing. What is in the item room? We got Hey Listen, Navi the Fairy. Basically tells us where secret rooms are, so okay. That's fine. Health down? We definitely don't want that. Let's put a bomb down right here, blow both of these up at once. That's uh, not doing much for us. Now the question is, do we want to spend a bomb or a key to get into the shop? And I think the answer is a bomb. Simply because we have more bombs than keys. And were we rewarded for this? No, there's nothing in there of any value whatsoever. That was just bad. Okay, you're saying blow this up? Hey, look at that. We got a crawl space. What's in the crawl space? Uh, pause. Which is a fairly terrible space bar item. It just pauses, it basically pauses the room until you shoot. Which is just not that great. Navi finding all of our secret rooms though, which is wonderful. I mean, we've gotten... We're getting, like, all the pills. Puberty. Um... I guess we take explosive diarrhea. Actually, no, we take health down, because it can turn into a health up pill if we only have one HP. And there's some value in that, at least. Amnesia. Okay. Uh, I thought I was fully charged there. Our, our rate of fire is, like, real bad, so... Oof. Tapeworm, though, is just not nearly as good with Azazel as it used to be, it looks like. Like, it gives you range, which is awesome. But at the same time... I think we've identified, like, literally every pill we have in our pill rotation for this run. 
Three range is a lot of range. Like a lot of range. I think we go with that. Because, like, I've said it many times. That Azazel's, like, single biggest problem is just lack of range. It's, like, the only reason that Azazel isn't an absolutely broken character. Well, that and starting with three black hearts instead of... Uh, any red hearts, but still. Okay, Binky's good as a rate of fire increase, which we honestly needed real bad. Uh, and there's some good stuff in here. I think we definitely want Mark. Oh, that was stupid. Uh, but we definitely want Mark. Gives us a spirit heart, gives us a damage upgrade. And then I think that's probably it. Like, I'm tempted to take Guppy's Paw. Just for the Guppy dream. But at the same time, it's real unlikely that we're actually going to get it. However, I'm also tempted to take Book of Sin because it would give us Bookworm. But I think overall, we're probably not going to take anything except for Guppy's Paw. I'll take Guppy's Paw. <laughs> How can you not? Oh, but, up. but, yo, we can go back for one of the health up pills. Actually, there's an interesting question. Do we want Book of Sin over Book of Belial? I think the answer is yes, because it can generate spirit hearts and stuff. But we can do this. And then we have, uh... We, we've essentially managed to take it. I I, compl I I didn't know that the door would stay open, basically. But it turned out uh, that it worked out for us. Uh, we'll blow you up, and we'll blow you up. See what we get. Just some money and some keys. Okay. We should really save bombs, given that we have Hey Listen, so we're going to easily find all of our secret rooms and stuff like that. Also, we have another library. See what's in here. We got the Bible. And we got Book of Secrets. We'll pop Book of Secrets for whatever it's worth, which is probably not much. There is no heart or anything like that in there. High Priestess card is basically a free boss kill. That has some value. Uh, and we can actually get into our boss trap room here. Ooh, question is... Yeah, I think we value the boss trap room more. Let's pop in here first. Mom's bottle of pills. Uh, have we had any good? I, I'm not. I'm not gonna fight two bosses just for that. If we had PhD, I'd consider it. But that's a crawl space. Good to know. Explosive diarrhea. We'll stick with the high priestess. As I said, it's basically a free boss kill at this point in the game. You know, later on, not so much. Anytime, dude. There we go. Alright, we got the bean, which is just terrible. We're getting a lot of, like, real bad items. Wouldn't mind getting another bomb, though, so we can at least go into that crawl space that uh, Navi found for us. And there's our bomb. I think crawl space is probably more valuable than your average tinted rock. Where was it? Like, right? Oh, no, it's not even... It is actually. It's just a tinted rock. I thought it was a, a crawl space. I didn't see the X. Okay. Well, either way. This is why Navi's actually like an okay item sometimes. I wouldn't say it's amazing. Because it doesn't really do much for you other than just help you find tinted rocks and stuff. But it's not terrible. Especially if you're like me and you don't always notice stuff. Which, by the way, is most people. You know, people are like, I can't believe you miss the YouTubers. They're always missing stuff. And the thing is, like, yeah, you're play you, you miss stuff, too. When you play video games, you just don't have someone watching to tell you that you're missing stuff. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the whole thing with missing stuff is that, like, you don't you don't know it was there. <laughs> 
That's literally what missing stuff is. Okay. So Judas's tongue is interesting. Uh, it what it does is it makes two heart deals, one heart deals. Um, but I think we're better off with tapeworm. I think it's just like objectively better. Here's our shop, which is good. We would definitely want to check this because we have tons of money. And it's just a greed fight. But it gives a steam sale. So that's pretty okay. Um, I will blow up the stone chest. We'll see what's in here. Nothing, but we got our bomb back at least. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go fight the boss. It's this boy. Who is, like, absolutely not who I wanted to see. He's too fast. Okay, take old bandage. Pop into here. Got a Krampus fight. I can live with that lump of coal, please. Okay, you give me Krampus's head. That's fine. Ace of clubs. That's a lot of bombs. I think that's what we want. Like, that's a lot of bombs. Potentially. Speaking of which, there's a bedroom right here. How many enemies are in here? There's a lot of enemies. We're going to turn them all into bombs. So now, we have lots and lots and lots of bombs. Also, were you focused on... No, you're just fluttering around normally. Okay. So let's bomb our way into the bedroom. And it is not a clean bedroom. So there is no... Uh, if, if this is a clean bedroom where everything doesn't look all like frayed and weird, range down, that stinks real bad. Balls of Steel is good though. But like if the carpet looks pristine, you can bomb it and there will always be a crawl space there. 100% of the time. And that's pretty good. Okay. Sure. We'll do it. Uh, highly not worth it. We already have a trinket we want to stick with. And uh, we got like two cents and a key. <laughs> so, nah, not a great couple of golden chests, but it's fine. Okay, we're going to have falling hands. I mean, from a consumable perspective, we're doing great. It's just like... I mean, honestly, the run is fine. It's not even bad. I wouldn't classify it as broken or top tier just yet. But the run is okay. We have, uh, you know what? No, do I want to play that? Probably not. You know what, let's just, let's leave it there for now. It's hard to say, because, like, I could definitely use more spirit hearts, for example. But at the same time, I don't really need a new trinket, because, like, this particular trinket is about as good as you can get on a Zazel. It's pretty hard to find a trinket that's better than this for Azazel. Uh, I will take that. I will take you and use it. Now, do we take Diplopio? How are we doing for time? Not amazing. Uh, you know what? We'll take Diplopio. Maybe we can just, like, double everything in a deal or something and get a bunch of free deal items or... Something to that effect. Who knows? There's... There's many potential things that could be good here. We still gotta find our item room, though. Oof. You know what? This would have been a great run for Trinket Smelter. Like, we've had a lot of really good trinkets pop up on this run. If we're being honest. Oh! The dreaded Key Thief room. 
Gets me every time. This is also a really big floor. Okay. Just troll bombs. Thanks for that, game. Thanks for exploding the troll bombs into me. Really appreciate it. Got a little bit of this stuff going on. What else we got? We still haven't found our item room, have we? I just realized. Kind of need to do that. Check this. I mean, we'll just have infinity pills. Puberty. I'll do it. Shot speed down is completely fine since Azazel has no use for shot speed whatsoever. So, like, that's basically great. It was essentially HP in return for a stat that is meaningless. Because Brimstone is instant. There is no shot speed for Brimstone. This, you know what? I got 20 bombs. I will give you as many bombs as you need. And get a bomb item. That's really not the bomb item that I was hoping for. I don't need a bomb as a space bar item. I was hoping for, like, a bomb upgrade item. Like, literally any of them. Okay. Little monster is fine, I guess. Alright. That was a really big floor. We are definitely not going to make a uh, boss rush. But we've already beaten boss rush as uh, Azazel, so I don't think we care that much. Only thing would have been, you know, it would have been nice to steal an item or or get a bunch of items or something like that with the Plopia. Okay, that's pretty terrible. Uh, down we go. I think our use of Diplopia is basically going to be either doubling all of the chests in the chest. Or doubling a de uh, doubling a deal so we can get all the items for free instead of having to pay for them. That's basically how we're going to end up using Diplopia here, I think. Spoonbender's real good. It's honestly a great item with uh, this whole setup that we got going here. I'm happy to have it. There we go. What else we got? Magician... All right, that was actually quite worth it. We don't need the Magician card, because that's basically what Spoonbender is. It's like... Spoonbender is permanent Magician card. So we're happy with Spoonbender. It's good. Let's see. Uh, any chance this is a snow? I was going to say, if that was a secret room right there, that would be nice. But uh, it's not. Secret room is here. Thank you, Nabby. I mean, we got a bunch of money. <laughs> what? The fly, that's right. The rocks and the, the spiky rocks in the ground can hit you even when you can fly. That still, that's been, I, I always forget. I'm like, we can fly. We're invincible. Except you're not. It's only the rocks on the ground. The spiky rocks still hurt you. Which is a little unintuitive, I gotta be honest. Like, you're, you're fine from all other forms of damage, it's just that one. It's a little weird. Whatever, though. HP-wise, I'd say we're in good shape. Like, at this point, we got a ton of HP. And just fly across there, grab the bomb, keep moving. We got, uh, okay, some bat boys and or other flying enemies. I'm not afraid. We also got an arcade that we should at least look at. What do we got in here? Uh, nothing amazing. I think we just blow everything up. Another experimental pill? Sure. Shot speed up, speed down, but I've gotten so many speed upgrades that the speed down didn't actually do anything. 
That's pretty good. Except for shot speed up is useless. Otherwise, it would be pretty good. Okay, I'll take an Eternal Heart. There's no way we're going to lose this many Spirit Hearts between now and the end of the floor. So I'm fine with picking it up immediately. We've found our shop. And I guess I'll take Nightlight just because. What are we on? And then I'll donate as much as I feasibly can to the donation machine. So we're at 23 minutes. I don't think we're going to make Hush. I mean, it's possible. If we get like some form of mapping, we could maybe get Hush. But it seems fairly improbable. Honestly, this is a pretty good mom fight. Like, it's almost over. It is over. All right, where do we want to go? We'll figure that out in a minute. Let's pop into here first. Uh, I don't think this deal is worth using Diplopion. I'm just going to take Rotten Baby. And then... We have not done anything on the Angel Path. So let's go Polaroid. And go that way. And I'm fine with holding on to Diplopia all the way to the chest if we need to to get good use out of it. I'm just going to use the Death Guard here. That's not a room I want to deal with. What is the speed on that pin? Did you see the speed at which that boy burst forth from the ground? Needs a citation or something. That was absurd. Okay. All dead. And we just want to keep an eye on Navi to make sure that Navi is not like, hey, there's useful stuff in this room. Also, I'm open to the idea of potentially going to Hush. Like, I'm not saying we absolutely should. In fact, you know what? I don't think this run is quite good enough for Hush. It's close. Okay, check the... Check this. I mean, and we would get a bunch of items. And I do have Diplopia. So maybe we should go to Hush if, the, if we make it there in time. Which is a pretty big if. And I mean, we do need the Hush completion. I don't know. It's tough to say. Okay, there's our boss. Crawl space. Crawl space. Very good. Thank you, Navi. And basically just gives us a bunch of money. Okay. Well, that's fine. It means if we do decide to go to Hush, we can buy items in the shop. Multiple items, in fact. Which does have some potential benefits. Okay, latchkey is not really what we were looking for there, but at least it gave us some HP. All right. Check the arcade. Blow all you up, and I'm going to put a bomb right here. Which hits the key beggar as well. I'm going to put a bomb right here. Don't know if that was worth it. I do see a tinted rock right there, though, so that's good. You know would be great? Would be, like, small rock. Yet another speed upgrade. Not really what we needed. I'll take the health down pill with me. Just because we can turn it into a health upgrade. If we have no HP. If all of our red hearts are used i.e. given away in a deal, for example. OK, 
Okay, that was not great. But we know where we gotta go, because there's only one other route on the floor. It's gotta be over here somewhere. Uh, also, I really need tears upgrades. Like, my rate of fire is real bad. That's something I am very much lacking. I can just kind of like hang out over the rocks. Okay. Come back the other way. I'll spend a bomb there to open up a stone chest. Stone chests? There's a lot of tiers upgrades now in stone chests. We haven't gotten a single one of them on this run. But uh, despite opening many golden and stone chests, honestly. But hey, you know, we're bound to get one sooner or later, right? Make a mad dash. Little blast assist action. Oh, that was just bad damage. That's my fault. Okay, the little ones I don't really care about. They're not. A, they're not a threat. It's the ones that can shoot at you that are cause potential issues. How are we doing on time? 28 minutes? It's going to be close. Ah, these enemies, I'll tell you. There we go. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Probably should have just been like, hey, I should prioritize not getting hit by the champion there, but that's fine. That doesn't help at all. Alright. Mom's heart fight. We've done it. We do have the ability to go to Hush. And you know what? We're doing it. Because this deal will make it much more... Uh, we do actually need Hush, right? Yes. Okay. We got a couple of Black Hearts in there, and we got Gimpy. Gimpy gives us a chance to get uh, Spirit Hearts back whenever we get hit. Which is pretty good. Uh, we're going to save our Diplopia. Still no spirit hearts at all. Okay, this one you definitely take dead eye. And you have found me a crawl space. Uh I would take anti-gravity normally, but honestly, like anti-gravity with Brimstone, which is what Azazel has, is, like, pretty bad. Uh, in my opinion. I don't- I hate the delay. So I think I'm gonna actually go Infestation here. Even though Anti-Gravity is by far, I think, the better item. Um, I'll pop a health up here. And buy a two cent this. I'll pay seven cents for a key since it gives me five keys. I will buy all the consumables here, and then we could buy compost. But like, Dipl but Diplopia is better. Not that it matters, like it makes no difference at this point what we spend our money on, because like, we're, the, the donation machine is jammed, there are no more shops. So like, who cares? Um, we should just double check. There's nothing in this room, right Navi? No, nothing. Okay. Let's do this and hope it works. We do have 10 damage in Brimstone, and occasionally um, we have 2020 Brimstone. So, like, all in all, I, oh, dude, can you not teleport on top of me? Like, that's just a dirty trick. 
All right, give me the spirit heart though. We can maybe help ourselves get through the bullet hell portions of this via nightlight. That's what the little light thing in front of me is. We bought that in the shop a couple floors ago. And it basically slows down anything inside the light. Whether that's bosses, shots, projectiles, etc. I mean, this is the easy part of the fight. It's the, the hard part is coming once he starts like shooting beams and stuff like that. That's when things get tricky. Now, the nice thing about the nightlight is that uh, it slows down any shots within the light. And they stay slowed down, as you can see, whether they're still in the light or not. So that's pretty useful against a boss such as Hush. And they don't go nearly as far, which means it's a lot easier to dodge them. But it's once he gets into the annoying continuum shots that we're going to start running into issues. Yeah, these right here. Please stop. You know what? I'm going to pop up over here instead. I think this might be a little safer. These are the shots that scare me, though. Ah, yep. Thank you, Gimpy. Very careful here. We do also have five luck, and I think Gimpy's chance to spawn more hearts when you get hit is uh, affected by your luck stat. Oh no, we have seven luck. Holy cow, that is so much luck. That's like an absurd amount of luck. We're gonna get so many items in the chest if we make it that far. It's actually gonna be ridiculous. We will basically get chests on like almost every room. We're getting him, though. He's Hush is slowly dying. Not as quickly as I would like. But it's fine. There's a spirit heart hiding down here. Let's grab that. That must have come from Gimpy. Oof. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Just... I, I don't even know. Okay. Now you gotta move. And just basically hope for the best. Um, okay. Dude, we're immortal. We can't die. Every time we get hit, a spirit heart drops in the ground. We are essentially immortal. Honestly, Gimpy is the reason that I decided to fight Hush. I wasn't planning to until I saw Gimpy in the deal with the devil, and I was like, nah, Gimpy gives us a good chance. And that unlocks Maw of the Void, which is a pretty good item. Um, it's a deal with the devil item. I don't think it's... It, it, it's a two heart item. My personal opinion is that it's a good item that isn't quite worth two hearts in most situations. But that's just me. It used to be one of the best items in the game because it could generate black hearts and also it was a damage upgrade, but they nerfed that in Repentance. Uh, so now it is just a, like, a circle of death that appears around you, basically, and destroys most things that it touches, which is still really good, but, like, it's just not quite as good as it used to be. We'll grab the key. Ghosty boy, please come out. I should double check. No, no, uh, no spirit hearts over here. All right, fair enough. Okay. Uh, you, you. Okay. Well, at least there's a tint. At least there's a secret room here as well. So I don't feel bad about wasting that bomb.
Um, sure. Oh, he boomed me. It's okay. Our health is dropping much more rapidly than I would like. <laughs> if I'm being entirely honest, I, I'm, I'm not liking the speed at which we are losing HP. Oh, that was a mimic chest. Why is my brain like, gotta go fast? I don't gotta go fast. I need to slow down. Self. Slow down. Stay alive. You don't have an extra life. Okay, we're fine there. I mean, the good news is once we get to the chest, we're going to have a lot of uh, a lot of items. We're going to get like eight items right there because we'll be able to double all the chests with the plopia. Oh, thank you for at least giving me. Do I want to spend four bombs to maybe get a spirit heart? Normally, I'd say no. But we also have a lot of bombs, and that ended up working out way better than it had any right to. Oh, the enemy fires. Check this. Okay, this could be really good. Depends on what's in these chests. So far, not so good. x -lax, Balls of Steel. That is amazing. Okay, good. Um, I think we're probably fine to fight Isaac here. We just gotta be real careful. Also, uh, Ocular Rift is doing pretty good stuff for us, if I'm being honest. Just holding the enemy in place, dealing damage, sucking in all the tears. I think with Brimstone, it's a great combo because it always drops the rift right on top of the enemy. Very good. All right, onto the chest we go. No Mega Satan fight because we don't have the keys, but we'll be able to do Blue Baby. We've unlocked Satanic Bible, which is a great book. I didn't realize we didn't have that yet. And then we Diplopia right here. And open all of these. Okay. Um, D4 rerolls the whole run. All right, well, we definitely want Tooth and Nail. Butterbean is not great. Uh, Firemind is probably fine. Marked is going to be annoying to deal with. And Almond Milk... I mean... We, we basically fire constantly. But our damage is miserable. But you also fire constantly. Which seems like pretty okay. And out of curiosity, I regret my decision. I marked is just not really what I'm hoping for here. But at least it's a rate of fire increase, which does still synergize with soy milk and stuff. And then I guess of these, like, this is what we go with. The good news is it can summon like infinity ocular rift shots and we also have spoonbender so like all in all maybe this will be okay we're just gonna get like tons of damage from ocular rift i'll take number two i think that's probably fine maybe Just kidding, it's not fine. It uh, constantly fires whether I'm holding down the key or not. Taking number two is not a good idea. So we're just going to have to pay real close attention and make sure we don't uh, allow ourselves to get blown up. Okay, uh, honestly, Lemon Mishap is much better than anything else that I'm dealing with at the moment. So, like, 
A lot of really bad space bar items here. Here, though. <laughs> you gave me paperclip. How could you do that to me? I'm actually hurt. That's just like... You give me a key beggar, and then he gives me paperclip and no chests when we're on the chest. Every chest he would have given us would have been an item. And he usually pays out like every... Every couple of keys with a chest of some sort. I feel moderately cheated. It's okay. HP is looking very scary, though. Oh, that's real. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Dark one's the one that needs to go. You are dead. Where's Little Horn? There we go. Also dead. Acid Baby, I guess, is fine. Not exactly the item that I would have uh, chosen, were it up to me. But it's not horrible. Okay. Speed upgrade that we don't need. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, we'll go back for that in a minute. Definitely kill Ragman first, because he has homing shots, which is just terrible. Then we grab Evil Eye. If one of these guys wanted to give me an HP upgrade, I would actually be fine with it. Nine lives. That's interesting. Do we trade? Do we take nine lives? I think we leave it for now. But we make note that it's there. And if we get to the point where we're like, we're about to, we've got no HP at all. Like, maybe we take advantage. Okay, this is like awful. Also, we did not get a spirit heart there from... Yeah, this seems okay. Mucormycosis. I seem to remember us having this item at some point and thinking, like, this is really good. So having this in combination with what we've already got... Like, it seems okay. Health down. Honestly, my biggest concern is just our health. Sure. This seems way better. <laughs> uh, so I'm actually just going to take Yum Heart. Because it will allow us to replenish our HP in a pickle. So we can now get hit, like, three times. But I've got basically triple shot brimstone now that fires constantly. That seems pretty good. Uh, all right, we're going to go back for hearts rather than using yum heart here. I want to save the battery charge for the boss fight. Which should be coming soon. The downside is you can't see, like, anything. So, that's not great. Uh, let's see. We found one secret room. Let's make sure... Yeah, I was gonna say. Let's make sure we find our other one. And it's just the tick. Which does instantly do 15 damage to a boss upon walking into the room. So, we'll do it. Why not? And we then basically just leave triple shot. I mean, you're dying super quick. That worked out. What a weird run. <laughs> that was cool, though. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching.
I'll see you in the next one.